Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Kelly Dobner. I'm the Chief Advancement Officer at Samaritas. And we're very excited to be here today to finally and officially launch uh, the Detroit Refugee Network. This network is a coalition of community and civic and corporate leaders coming together to provide support services for refugees from Afghanistan, Ukraine, and other nations as they resettle here in the city of Detroit. The network will serve clients of three resettlement agencies, including Samaritas, United States Committee for Refugees and Immigrants, and Catholic Charities of Southeast Michigan. Through this network, we will establish an eight-point ecosystem of support, providing refugees in Detroit with a full range of services, including housing, employment, transportation, education, ESL learning opportunities, utility assistance, and more. I'm joined today by my Detroit Refugee Network co-chair and Detroit's First Lady, Dr. Sonia Hassan. Thanks to the partnership and the vision of the city of Detroit, we're gonna be able to help more refugees become more acclimated Detroiters more quickly and more than any other city in the state. I'm honored to serve as co-chair of the Detroit Refugee Network and to support this really important cause. The pursuit of the American ideal is very personal for me. My parents left everything and everyone in Egypt to start a new life here in the United States. Now imagine for a minute you're sitting in your kitchen and you're told you have 30 minutes to pack all your things that you own. You'll be transported to another country where you don't speak the language and have no family. And worst of all, you'll leave half your family behind. Well, hundreds of incredibly brave people did sign up for that deal this past year in Michigan. Their heroic stories are inspiring. They wanted a better life. Well, last week, Detroit became the first city in Michigan to be certified welcoming by Welcoming America. <laughs> certified welcoming is a formal designation for cities and counties that have created and executed policies and programs that reflect their values and commitment to immigrant inclusion from all countries. Detroit joins just 14 of other welcoming places in the US. I would like to thank all of our partners here today and a special thank you to Samara Tass for stepping forward to lead this network as they have been providing services to generations of refugees in Michigan for many years. Now I'd like to introduce a special person who will share his experience of resettling in the city of Detroit. You will meet Saeed. Saeed is from Afghanistan. He started working with the U.S. Army in 2007 and eventually became a citizen and then returned to Afghanistan to continue working until August 25th of 2021 when the Taliban seized control. In Afghanistan, I worked as a military translator interpreter for over 10 years. With the U.S. government, I worked with multiple teams at different bases to help fight against terrorism. Uh, protect military and civilian life and support ongoing effort to restore democracy. I left Afghanistan when the U.S. started to withdraw uh, their forces. It was a very difficult decision but, uh, for me because I had to leave homeland, friends, family behind. When I left Afghanistan, me and my family were sent to Detroit, Michigan. At first we were worried but then we started to hear uh, a lot of great things uh, were happening for refugees in the city. Uh, we were placed in a tempor uh, temporary housing until we could fi uh, find something permanent. And that, when we met all the amazing volunteers in the refugees agencies like Samaritans, USRI, uh, eager to assist. We are all happy to be uh, living in Detroit and uh, are excited to see a level of love and support from uh, this great city. People here are genuine and amazing, and I hope every Afghan and other refugees can reach the American dream. So they can thrive in their new community. And we know that Detroit is gonna be an incredibly welcoming community for, for them. More than 650 Afghan refugees have come to Southeast Michigan since late 2021, with more than 250 planning to settle in Detroit. We also know that refugees from Ukraine are expected to come into our care in the coming weeks and months and the Detroit Refugee Network will play a key role in combining support, services, and resources to ensure their safety and resettlement. We know from our experience that when refugees get off to a good start, it makes all the difference, not only for them as individuals and the family unit, but as a ripple effect across our community 
refugees become contributing members of our society economically, culturally, and socially. Samaritas has decades of experience serving refugees from all over the world, and we know that more than 75% of families become self-sufficient within 180 days. Through the Detroit Refugee Network, we are here to welcome them into our community and ensure that they thrive.